All right, so I figured I'd do a quick video on how to install one of these, how I install one of these uh, gooseneck, these gooseneck lights on my models, on a lot of the models that I've been using. Um, there you come, two in a pack. They're actually very cool once they're installed. So what I'm going to do is I got I got a little barn that I'm just I'm putting on the model, and first thing you want to do is set your hole. Now when you when you uh, open these up, these <laughs> first of all they're stapled together, so. Yeah, my videos, I don't edit them, so if you don't like me grunting or whatever, sorry. Uh, yeah, so you got this, it comes with this little linker plug that you put into your uh, light hub, or however you're going to set it up on your model. Either, sometimes I'm using a port sharing device or something like that, or l linkers or whatever. So this is oh this is how they come. Take take one of them out. I usually just bend bend one of these spots. Man, that light is bright. One of these spots here, I just end up bending, so I don't because these wires are so thin. Here, I I I just tend to be a lot more, a little more careful than normal. Because I don't want to have the wire break on me or whatever. So that's how it comes. It's crazy. Nah, it's not much better, but you get my, you get the drift. So, comes like that. I take it out, I unwind it off its spool, <clears throat> they give you plenty of wire, that's for sure, and they're marked red and black, so it's not a problem. I don't know if you can see it, but they're done red and black. Uh, I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just, it's a weird setup. I got it. My, it's good for me doing hobby stuff, but as far as videotaping, probably not. So anyway, uh, black and red wires. Here's the open ends. They come stripped about a quarter inch. Um, so, yeah, you can't see them. That's worse. Well, that's not too bad. Anyway, they come stripped about a quarter inch. <coughs> <coughs> so I push them together, try to get them as tight together as possible. And... When you decide where you want to put the hole in your model, in this one particular one, I'm doing a hole right up here, right in the right in the middle, just so it shines downward. I have a little Dremel tool, which I love, and I just I've already pre-drilled it, a little spot right in the middle there. This is like a sixteenth bit, really small. And get that little hole. There it is. Get your wire. Um, get your wire. Sorry about that. Looks like I dropped it. So, 
I get my wire, get the ends, kind of put them together. Not twist. I don't twist them together. I just carefully. It's like threading. It's like almost threading a needle. It may take you a couple tries, but that's that's normal. Push it through, and I wear glasses, so and grab it out this end. And you slowly pull it through. Slowly pull it through. Don't want to break these wires, pinch them or whatever. And now you have an idea of how it's going to look. So you before you set your what I use on these is super glue honestly don't use model glue it takes too long to set up don't use any other glue it takes too long to get set up any type of super glue I don't you know have a preferred brand but as soon as you get it kind of set where you want it I I tend to take the wire as soon as it's close I take the wire and I kind of pull it a little taut but not really hard but hard enough to where inside that it's gonna stay taut what that does is it keeps it from moving on you and I just wrap it around the model however whatever your model looks like find the smallest part and just wrap it and just work on it that way don't don't wrap it so it's covering in the middle obviously because you got to get in there okay you're eventually going to have to get in there with some glue so there's the back there's the front and there goes all my wire <laughs> so anyway we wrap this really quick. Here we go. Still trying to be careful though. You don't wanna, I don't wanna bend this too much. I don't wanna crimp it too much. Oftentimes what I'll do is I, I got this little putty paste or whatever you wanna call it that I work with and I just, just really temporary stuff you just squeeze it on your model and it holds stuff down um comes in a big old blue package like this i always have this stuff handy i just slice a little piece off with my exacto knife uh i think my wife got it for me it was at a dollar store this is the best stuff you can buy now i know there's other stuff that you can buy it it basically holds stuff in place. This is just something I got laying on the side. But <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. It just holds stuff in place. This way you can work on it. Like this guy, you know, it's going to be hard to paint. And instead of me putting them on some alligator clips, I could just leave them on that stuff, paint around them, move them when I need them, or, you know, it's easier. But definitely for wiring... You want to hold some wires down that's the stuff to use all right so i got this light pretty taut inside you can see okay the light outside i'm gonna manipulate it a little bit just to kind of line it up the way i want it Hard to do when you're trying to do a camera, but I've done a bunch of these already. And when you got it to where you want it, and it the the base of that light is sitting flush with whatever building wall you have, that's when you know you got it. And then this is where you want to super, super glue it, so you can take the 
super glue on the inside give it a little give it a little a little spot and then when that super glue hardens up and sets you can go to the outside and uh, bend that light a little bit okay you don't want to go crazy but you could still bend it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply that super glue in there this is almost impossible to do on a camera or with a camera but there i just did it got some on the inside i'm gonna go back to the outside here making sure that that base of this light still stays flush okay with the building the wall and if that means i gotta sit here and hold it for a few seconds then that's what i'll do because it's super glue you know it, it's eventually gonna set itself but this is actually being a little bit of a pain so i'm gonna get one of these little blue pieces that i was just talking about and i'm gonna roll it in a ball and i'm gonna push it next to it so it's kind of it's setting it in place and when it dries i'll be able to take that blue ball off of there and uh it'll be good to go so that's the way it goes it's pretty simple this is a pretty forgiving system when as far as installing goes it's not as hard as you think um and so far i'm ready to wire up my entire model i'm almost there and this just plug system while it is a pretty significant investment i mean you're gonna spend money depending on how many models i have a four by eight layout depending on how many models you have you're gonna spend money but uh so far i love it uh it's easy to do it's easy to work with and <laughs> i can't wait for it to be done because i actually want to start enjoying the model now i was ready to do this all this wiring by hand and all this soldering and everything else making sure i have all the right capacitors and all that and i'm like let me look into this just plug system and uh yeah i haven't looked back so there you go just plug wall mount lights the gooseneck the gooseneck variety and that's it all right peace